All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to the Outer Worlds. How you doing? I'm doing all right. I hope you're doing good. All right, so when we stepped outside in this beautiful wasteland, Nyoka actually wanted to speak to us, so let's see what she wants. Hey, got a favor to ask you. Yeah? Figure while we're out here in the wilderness anyhow, we might stop in on an old friend of mine. Preferably before we get to Hiram's. It's on the way, don't worry. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed, and I could use the help. Okay. Uh, thanks for the compliment. Uh, well, I definitely don't plan on getting myself killed. Well, we'll see about that. I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. Oof, do I feel that. But this, what I'm thinking, it's dangerous. Uh, honored you're asking me. I'm thrilled to accept. What do you got? Uh, what kind of danger are we talking about here? Really? Here I was stealing myself for inevitable rejection. I used to run with a band of hunters. Friends. Six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out, and we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years, and the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places, like the family we once were. Okay. What do you, uh, what do you need to do? How do you know they're dead? I saw it happen. Hell, one of them was in my arms at the time. His name was Hayes, and he's our first stop. I buried him a ways from our encampment. I'll show you where he rests. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to bury. Okay, and after that? Then we find my two lost trackers and bring them home. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then, we kill the bitch and bury everyone's medallions together. Sounds like fun. Let's go. Uh, we're gonna have to kill a manta queen? <laughs> Thanks, Cap. Alright. Off we go. Into the wasteland. Whew. Smells like those old Sundays when we'd unload Saltuna shipments. Right. Here's the road. Follow it south. Oh boy, this is not doing too much damage at all, is it? There we go. Okay, so all in all, we did pretty well. Okay, so that is a thousand meters that way. I wish the uh, I wish the quest log would actually tell you what is closer. I know not a lot of games do that, but you know, still. That's poison spray all over the place. Okay, we're good. We're good. We got this. Is that it? Right, let's check out what's in here. Anything? Marauder. No, just adrenaline. Oh, come on. There we go. Really? I'm over and come. Fuck me. Is that skeleton wearing a top hat? Why?
Some more lock picking stuff and ammo. Oh, they were camped out in here. The Raptodons must have uh, just just took them out real bad. Oh, I was already in here. Wait, what? Oh, this is the door then. All right, she said to follow it south. We got a bunch of quests out here. Feels like the old bits outside of Edgewater. Oh god. He's dead. Boom, knock it over. Alright, that was a little over dramatic for uh not doing that much damage. It's a big bastard. But I thought I saw a health bar over here. Didn't attract anything. Okay, well. Let's check out what's in here. Residence. This is a clean house. Oh my god. Like, very clean. A visitor? What an unexpected surprise! Please, come in. Come in. I'm getting real bad fight or flight right now. I feel Watch you. your step. People ain't this friendly outside city walls. The Edgewater deserters were perfectly nice, and they lived outside the city walls. Well, maybe not Adelaide, but everyone else. That's the spirit. Now come in. Make yourselves comfortable. Oh, okay, so we can look for Braxton here. I'm afraid we don't get many visitors out here. The Raptodons and Marauders scare off all but the boldest. And if you've braved them, you must be exhausted. Why don't you stay for dinner? Are you sure you haven't seen Braxton? I heard he was delivering... Oh, he was delivering them here. Okay. I'm sure I would remember something like that. Now, quit fretting yourself about that. Make yourself at home. Dinner's almost ready. Something ain't right about this. This is concerning. It's not like I can sit down in a chair, though, so... Oh, hello there. You come for... for, uh, dinner? Sorry, I'm not real good with, uh... Names. Is something wrong? If you were wrong short of a ladder, aren't you? Oh my god. It just gets hard to remember things. I recall moments, feelings, but the details slip. I felt like that after my dad passed. Walked around in a haze for weeks. I'm sorry you're feeling that way too. Other times it's like there's fog. I. Sorry, have we talked about this before? No. That's nice of you. I usually feel better after I eat. Mama said dinner's almost ready, huh? We're good. Okay, well, I suppose we can just look around. That's weird. Why are you just standing there like that, Lizzie? Oh, hi there. Did you come to bring us more of those rocket candies? Uh, sure, I brought you some candies. What are you talking about? You know, the ones that come in a bottle with a rocket ship on the front. They don't taste very good, but they make me feel so nice. Hungry, too. Kid, <laughs> you're weird. That's wonderful. There was this other man who used to bring them. Not anymore, though. Uh, what can you tell me about this man? Mama and Papa said he came from the city. When we got sick one time, he brought those candies to make us well again. And they worked. Now we feel better than ever. 
Mama says they're a gift from the Eternal. Oh no. Oh no. He said they were making us sick. Mama and Papa got real mad at him for that. They went to have a talk with him. Afterwards, they said he wasn't coming back again. I don't know. I'm not really supposed to talk to strangers. You sounded really talkative just a second ago. Okay. Maybe I'll see you at dinner. We wouldn't want to intrude. It's her bedroom. Or somebody's bedroom. There's the boy's bedroom, I believe. Hey, what are you doing in my room? Oh, sorry. Sorry, just looking around. Liar! You're trying to steal the last of my rocket candies, aren't you? No. The ones that come in a bottle with a rocket ship on it. Like the other man used to bring. Both of you just get in here. Oh my god. Oh no. No, 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 no. They so for sudden assholes. Ain't an Oh dear lord, okay, they've, they've been eating people. Let's uh, let's go on downstairs. But what's this? You're tracking blood into the kitchen. Oh dear, you've been nosy, haven't you? Kinda. Quickly, my dear. She's getting agitated. We can't let the meat spoil. Oh, dear lord. Don't worry. We'll make this quick. Watch out! Here I go! Well, that did it. Again, a little over dramatic, right, but. Animals. Down they go! Where's the girl? They killed. <laughs> Ain't deserved to die so clean. I wouldn't call this quick clean. One of them is literally oh, in ashes. Wait, where'd the other one go? Where'd the mother go? Is she in ash too? Or did she like phase through the door? I think she phased through a wall. All right, let's uh. Let's take all their shit, because I guess it's not really stealing if they're all dead. Oh, that just leads outside. Nothing really in here. Okay. Is that all? Is that a, anything in here? No. All right, let's leave this horror show. Oh boy. I mean, we weren't even on this planet a full 24 hours and we found cannibals already let's upgrade some stuff let's get that to 60 all right let's keep that and let's do the carry weight perk Alright, 
so. We gotta look for Tucker and uh, Amber Heights. That's a side quest. Search the apartment for clues. Oh, that's back in town. Speak to Velma. Done that. Well, gotta go back and do that. Missing passcode. Oh, that's for Lily. And that's for the town. So I suppose we can kind of just, uh... Keep looking for that, for the sweet cakes. Oh my god. Oh. It's a raptodon, but just huge. Okay, we got it under control. Alright, we're good to go. So it appears that we have to go this way to get around. Alright, are we clear? Seems so. Pavati's having a hard time keeping her health up. Oh my god, what the hell is that? A Manta Queen? Oh, I guess we're just going straight into it, so... Might as well do it for the XP. Oh, that's horrific. Oh god, they're both dead. Jesus Christ, okay, this is not fun. I thought these things spit acid, not plasma. What kind of animal spits plasma? encounters I've only had one no we're gonna reject that okay so most of the enemies are dead though the Manta Queen is the only one that's left I think Can I sneak past it? Oh, there's two. There's two. There's two. Oh, no. Oh, hell. Come on. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving into the tall grasses. And there we go. I've 
no clue if this building was for any mission that I have, but... Terra One Publications? Yeah, nothing, nothing I really need. Watch out! Oh god. Oh fuck. Oh Jesus. Okay. Stellar Bay, Fallbrook, Amber Heights, Cascadia is this way. What was it like in Edgewater? I hear you workers were on the clock every available moment. We always got eight hours a day for sleeping. Just not always consecutive. My condolences. I appreciate consistent wages like any other sane person, but that still sounds awful. At least sane hey, here we go. There we go. Come on. I'll you right up. We might have a chance against them. Oh dear lord. Maybe not, maybe not. Maybe I'm severely under level for being over here. Oh dear lord. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> Wait, hold on. We at least have this area on the fast travel spot. And we've went. We technically took the shortcut way, but this is not a not a good way. But instead of doing that, let's go look for Tucker in Amber Heights. And on the map, it is back the way we came. So we're just gonna run. Not even worried about the Manta Queen. Just let her go, let her eat and have her fun. And we're gonna go back the way we came. <laughs> Kind of get in there and follow the road. Careful. Only things you'll find in the ruins are liable to shoot you or eat you. Or both. I wonder who used to live here. Do you suppose anyone remembers anymore? Uh, probably not. Amber Heights is this way. So is Fallbrook. It's a good thing they got signs. Something I should probably look at. kind of follow the road. Watch your feet. The sulfur pools don't just sting. They'll take a toe off. Understood, but I think we're on solid ground right now. Yeah, we could take a shortcut that way, maybe? Is it worth it is the question. Well, I'm sure it wasn't worth it for this man. Oh, you are in for it now. Oh 
Okay. Okay. So we got another little town up here. Oh boy, okay. Already did a number on the house. Wish I could. What do you mean, wish you could? There we go. down but I think she's okay Amber Heights is up that way oh shit So whatever that is, we've wi done a little wiping out there. Uh, Bayside Terrace Ruins, okay. So let's avoid the sulfur. And here we go. Back on the road. Here we go. No hard feelings, okay? Might take that for Nioka. Hello there. Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting we're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Okay, thanks for that, Rose. You're offering me a pamphlet you don't have? I'm so sorry. It's a habit, I suppose. We used to have plenty, but we ran out of paper and ink. Ever since the corporations left, it's been hard to come by the basics. But you know what we do have? Freedom! This is the only place in Halcyon you'll find it. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. No problems. Uh, what about the Raptodons and the Marauders? And here I thought everyone works for the corporation. No corporation means no paycheck. How do you survive without money? Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. Big happy family, huh? Just looking for work. Uh, hey, yeah. The new boy! Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Okay, thanks, Rose. I ought to mention, the Iconoclasts are loyal folk. 
treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. Understood. Everybody here looks wore out. Is it just me? All right, Tucker. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? No, I'm actually looking for you. I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades, no matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? I'd hope she'd accept my decision. Oh, so she knew. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. I mean, okay. Leaving the city part, that's all true. Just look at what has just happened to me in the past, like, 20 minutes. But <laughs> other than that, I get you. I really get you. Uh, running away f is for cowards. You need to face her and show her you've grown up. I'm getting a reward. Huh. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? I mean, maybe if you put your foot down, like actually put your foot down instead of just like angrily saying something. Uh, you've survived outside for weeks. So, yeah. <sighs> You're right. I can do this. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. Exactly. No one can. Shit, you can come right back here after the fact if you want, but you know, still. Oh, dear Lord. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah, let's just close that, because he's gone. Is there anything else? Anti-riot gear. What the hell is anti-riot gear? Okay, well that's done. Is this a tavern? Hello, Ash. Never seen you before. You say that like it's a problem. Not for me. Maybe for you. Come out here looking for some better life, kid? Uh, no, not really. Uh, do you people, do people actually come here like willingly? <laughs> Just passing through. Good on you. Make a little money, move on. Don't get killed out there, kid. Nothing on this moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. What's your story? It's pretty simple, kid. I sit at the bar, I drink, I mind my own business. That's it. Okay, uh, you said you've been around the whole moon. Must have had a few things. Uh, I can buy, a, buy you a bottle. Or I can bust one over your head and don't call me kid. Kid, I ain't got but half a liver left. And what's there don't work so good. And I can still drink you under the table. Look, you want to buy the drinks? I'll do my bit to keep you entertained. Just don't ask me to dance. Heartbreak? What happened there? Uh... 
a great many things. I'll tell you what. You want to listen to an old man ramble? There might be a job in it for you. Okay. I used to run with a squad of mercenaries here. Good folk. A fella named Lamont introduced me. Thing is, I ain't seen them in an age. Stands to reason they got themselves eight. Uh, was that a long time ago? If they got killed, they must have been terribly... T oh, sure. I was with them when the corpse were leaving Monarch. Hell of a time, that. We split ways around the time this twice-fucked moon got abandoned. Thing is, I got myself some fond memories. We had some keepsakes of ours we kept in a lockbox. And I've been thinking about seeing it found. Okay, uh, you want mementos, what, photographs? Uh, what if they're still alive? Can't you find them yourself? I'll be glad for it, but I ain't stupid. This planet tends to get people killed. I just want some closure. Understood. Thereabouts. I'm getting on in years, kid. Eggs ain't working like they used to. Sulfur burns a little too long in the lungs. This joint's looking like my last home. Understood. Appreciate it, kid. I'm marking out posts on your map. We spent a lot of time out there. Might be a good place to start. Here's a key for the door. I mean, I got a lot of stuff to do on this planet, so we'll see. Anybody else up here? Nope, just a dude called the Revolutionary. Might as well exp explore all around. Bradford. All, All right, I'm Bradford, what's up with you? Oh my like god, that mask. I've seen you before. You from one of the Outer Steads or what? Uh. Yeah, Outer Stead. Came from Stellar Bay. Eh? One of them inners from T2? Welcome to the little piece of hell we reign over. I'll give you two bits worth of free advice. One, don't let the dust get in nothing private. <laughs> it's like 10% spores by volume. Oh You'll be god. yanking out fungus by the handful. Oh my god. Two, you can't actually keep the dust out. Always carry antifungals. Sprays work okay, creams are better. You got nothing else? Vodka. Thank you. <laughs> In charge? <laughs> We're iconoclasts. Every soul a sovereign power. We oh, do for Lord. each other on account of it needing to be done. Not because some fancy pants manager said to. Now you want to rephrase that question, maybe ask who's respected hereabouts, I can give you a sensible answer. Okay, well then please answer that question. We'll make an iconoclast out of you yet. Out here, you ain't beholden to managers nor wages. The two names every iconoclast esteems would be Mr. Graham, and Ms. Zora. And they ain't leaders, and don't you insult them by calling them such. They're more like everyone's grandparents. They've been around, they know shit. You got a problem? Best bet's to ask them. Well, they sound like leaders. When the monarchists wanted to settle down and play nice with the boar, Graham was the one that took a stand. He's the reason we're here, breathing free air. Zora's our best sawbones. Nearly every soul here owes her their life. She's got funny ways, but they work. Okay. Welcome to Monarch. The animals think you're tasty, the fungus thinks your lungs are a great place to plant spores. That ain't enough. Look at the sky. Olympus yanks this moon about like a drunk dancer. Storms to curl your hair and quakes to rattle your brain pan. Right, okay, see you around. You sound like you've been drunk for the entire day. Just dead raptodons laying all over the place. That's sanitary. It ain't right. How many good folk we do? Somebody's 
Okay. No, all I'm saying is you gotta be more careful throwing away lives like that. Well, I guess we can you know, look around a little bit more, but ultimately we're gonna have to leave. Seems like a nice little town. Except for all the dead critters. The folks in Amber Heights always manage to find a bottle or two of the good stuff. Keen scavengers, I tell you. Yeah, I'm not looking to eat or drink anything they got here. Maybe buy some ammo off of them. Welcome to the Emporium. I'm Bronson. It ain't really a store. Think of me more like a quartermaster and a chef and a handyman and whatever else we need. Right. We gotta eat. Eating means hunting. Hunting means armaments. We used to let people take what they will, but then some idiot shot some other idiot over cards. So Zora set up a system. You fuck up, you don't get to buy gear. You play nice, you do. Okay, so she's the leader, like I said before. Yeah, plenty. If you're the type to fix a thing or two, I've got a couple reports I need to follow up on. The pipes up on Milton's house burst. Someone needs to shut them off. Then there are the cables outside the bar. A sprat chewed through them, and now they're spitting lightning. Then there's the old guardhouse, outside town on the way to the old Bayside Terrace. Someone needs to reset the comms breaker there. I ought to tell you, most of these systems are routed through one of our terminals. You might be able to handle some of them remotely if you know your way around a computer. We sent Milton out to check on the comms tower a while ago. He ain't heard back. I'd wager he got eight. Yeah, I was out there a little bit ago, and I think he might be dead. Up the hill. It's right on the cliff's edge. So up the hill. Oh, no. Journal. So, nope, those are companion quests. Okay, so a couple of them are in here. I can just get these done real quick and easy. Fix that. You ever been off Monarch, Mioka? Before you met the captain, I mean. Nah, I'm a. All right, so. This is new. Actually, is that something I can... Yeah, I've been up there before. I can't... There we go. I don't want to go through any more Mantis... <laughs> Manta Queens! <laughs> So that's all done. Yeah, pretty sure their friend is dead. Like, dead, dead. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I guess I'm on foot. Fast shovel's just annoying if you can't lock directly onto it.
All right, buddy. Did you have a sweetheart in Stellar Bay? I had a fling or two, sure. But on Monarch, relationships ain't usually meant to last. A lot of fools tried to impress me, feigning bravado in the wilds, thinking they'd catch my attention with their stories. It was cute. Not so cute when their act got themselves munched. You know what's sexy? Confidence. You know what ain't? Disembowelment. <laughs> She's right. She's not wrong. What are you buying? Nothing. I'm actually taking your money. I'll be damned. Thanks for doing that. Here. Zora sets aside a bit or two for people who help out. Before you ask, no. It ain't pay. Just being generous to folks who do a good turn. So pay. Okay. Y'all got a weird way of thinking of things. Alright, so... North of Stellar Bay. Okay, so we could actually, what is this? Terra One Publications, that's where the Manta Queen was. So we can fast travel back here, just kind of bum our way up through. And then we can actually go talk to Agnes too. Kill two birds with one stone. Alright. Uh nope, that's that's the door. Good old Stellar Bay. Only place on the planet that don't stink of sulfur. On account of it stinking like fish instead. I mean Where which smell ever goes away? Which would you rather the wind off the sea helps. Like sulfur or fish? Thank God that they don't mix. <laughs> and be glad you got one instead of the other. Because I would assume sulfur is worse. some of this stuff. Wait, what's that? A bit cartridge? Two! Has a bad habit of padding his reports with numbers and statistics. Hmm. Graham's understanding of the product uh, messages, branding is impressive, especially for a relatively low level editor. He has a knack for memorable snow slogans. However, Graham has an issue with brevity. <laughs> I've met people like that. Uh, and shows consistent disregard for prescribed fonts, formats, <laughs> so he's creative. What's up here? Open that up, and I don't really feel like wasting some lock picks on that. Ah, hello, hello. I hear boots out there. Wait, can rats wear boots? No, they can't. <laughs> Look, a rat to die. Oh, thank the eternal. I'm Huxley. Ah, uh, Hux, if you're lazy. I'm stuck. My friends and I were scavenging here, and a Mad Queen showed up. 
thin raft it on. It was a void blasted mess. I ran in here and um now the door's locked. Little help? Uh yeah. It's easier than it sounds, alright? Next time you get chased by Raptodons, you let me know the rationality of your decisions. Shoot them. Phew. Thanks, ladies. My buddy had a key, but I ain't heard him in a while. He locked me in here and took off. Probably got munched. So look for a dead guy, I guess. Or a rat. Maybe it's in a rat belly. Gross. <coughs> Much obliged. Phew, thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. <laughs> now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Still landing yourself in trouble, eh, Hux? Oh, hi, Nyoka. Um, you mind give me an escort back home? I'm... Oh, you're traveling with someone. Never mind. Uh, why would I attack her? Normally when you help someone, they... yeah. But I ain't got nothing on me. How's about a heaping helping of appreciation and respect? Uh, by being saved by me, you've entered an unnegotiable contract! Oh my god! That's great, but no. Uh, that's true. Okay, fine. Here. That would be just scummy. Oh, sure, I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy and... Hey, who's your identical, slightly blurry friend? Oh, dear God. Thanks a lot, lady. Goodbye. Actually, I'll take one of them. Can I take two? Yes, I can, and I can sell them. All right, so. Oh my god. Well, we're gonna explore this place just a little bit. And then one. Okay. Take that. What's that? Water, just straight up water. Okay. Oh, a workbench. Nope, nope, take. Take the drugs. Is that it? That thing, that's, that's almost it. Necklace. I can sleep? Oh, that's cool. Not out here in this dangerous, uh... thing. Dangerous area. But, okay, so... <coughs> When we return in a moment, we're actually going to turn in a couple of quests and then head back out into the wilderness and hopefully not die. So I thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, Citizen of the Empire. If you're on YouTube and you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe, all that to help me out. It does. It really does. I appreciate it. Uh, on Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will be back in a moment. Mm -hmm.